The Bilderberg Group is an annual conference of elites so secretive it was nameless until being coined the Bilderberg Group after its original meeting place. They first convened in 1954 at the Bilderberg Hotel in Holland under direction of Prince Bernhard and David Rockefeller. There is a core of 39 regulars, with nearly 130 elites in politics, banking, business, and the media invited each year. Paul Joseph Watson wrote, Surely senior officials of the World Trade Organization, Federal Reserve, financial institutions like Rockefeller, the man himself, the EU and UN world government models, and corporate oil conglomerates couldn't belong to the same group as the leading politicians and the media. Well, they do. They all belong to the Bilderberg Group. Alex Jones wrote, In 1954, the elite of the world met in secret at the Bilderberg Hotel in Holland. The Bilderberg Group would later admit that their mission was the formation of the EU. Once the EU was established, under the guise of trade deals, a North American Union and Asian Union would be formed. The three interlocking superstates form the core of the world government while the United Nations would serve as a world regulatory and enforcement body over the Third World subregions. The Bilderberg Group consists of the heads of all the managing roundtable groups that steer individual countries. Picture the elite power structure of the world as a giant pyramid, with only the elite of the elite at the tip-top of the capstone. The group has been so secretive that until the mid-1980s, the controlled corporate media denied its existence. Into the late 1990s, coverage only consisted of rare one-line mentions, but with the rise of the alternative media, their stranglehold on information has begun to slip. In the Illuminati hierarchy, Bilderberg Group is above and controls the Council on Foreign Relations, the Royal Institute of International Affairs, and the Trilateral Commission. It is composed of kings, queens, princes, and princesses, presidents and prime ministers from all over the world, IMF, World Bank, and Federal Reserve heads, U.S. senators, CFR members, EU commissioners, Rockefellers, Rothschilds, journalists, TV news anchors, CEOs, and more. The last six heads of NATO have been from the Bilderberg Group. In 1991, Bill Clinton was invited, and the next year became president. Hillary has also been to Bilderberg. Other notable attendees include Margaret Thatcher, Tony Blair, Gordon Brown, Dan Quayle, Alan Greenspan, Gerald Ford, Henry Kissinger, Richard Pearl, Donald Rumsfeld, Colin Powell, William Perry, Prince Charles, Prince Philip, King Juan Carlos and Queen Sophia of Spain, Queen Beatrix and Prince Bernhard of the Netherlands, Peter Jennings, Rupert Murdoch, William F. Buckley Jr., Nelson, J., and David Rockefeller, Jacob, Guy, Evelyn, Emma, and Lynn Rothschild, Sigmund, and Eric Warburg. Gary Allen wrote, The Bilderbergs meet once or sometimes twice a year. Those in attendance include leading political and financial figures from the United States and Western Europe. Prince Bernhard makes no effort to hide the fact that the ultimate goal of the Bilderbergers is a world government. In the meantime, while the New World Order is being built, the Bilderbergers coordinate the efforts of the European and American power elites. Prince Bernhard's counterpart among the American Bilderbergers is David Rockefeller, chairman of the board of the CFR, whose economic base is the giant Chase Manhattan Bank and Standard Oil. Among the other Bilderbergers from the world of ultra-high finance are Baron Edmund de Rothschild of the House of Rothschild, C. Douglas Dillon, of Dillon Reed and Company, Robert McNamara of the World Bank, Sir Eric Roll of S. G. Warburg and Company, Pierce Paul Schwetzer of the International Monetary Fund, and George Ball of Lehman Brothers. Every single one of those named as past and present members of the Bilderberger Steering Committee is or was a member of the Council on Foreign Relations. If you have never heard of Bilderberg, it's likely because the heads of CNN Fox News, Newsweek, Time, The Washington Post, The Wall Street Journal, and many other media outlets are regular attendees. Protesters and journalists are kept well at bay by private police. No one is allowed anywhere near for coverage. 
and no minutes of the meetings are made public. Alex Jones wrote, Now the Bilderberg Group in Reuters, which they own, has gone public that it actually grooms our presidents and our prime ministers. That, yes, its members really are international bankers. Yes, royal families are involved. Yes, the Bilderberg Group runs the central banks. And yes, the elitists see us as the property of a world superstate. Bilderberg member Prince Philip, in his own publication, If I Were an Animal, brags about how he would kill 80% of the population, how his great dream is to come back as a virus. Gary Allen wrote, Of course, the landscape painters merely brush the Bilderbergers right out of existence and focus the public's attention on something like the conditions in the prisons or Coke bottles littering the highways. Since the Bilderbergers are a group of the left, they are allowed to go on in peace and quiet, planning for 1984. The fact that there is heavy Rockefeller, Chase Manhattan Bank, and CFR influence in the media might also have something to do with the fact that while everybody has heard of, say, the John Birch Society, and almost always in a derogatory manner from the Eastern establishment media, practically nobody has heard of the Bilderbergers. Researcher and author Daniel Estjelin has followed the Bilderberg Group for over 15 years, and recently published a highly recommended expose called The True Story of the Bilderberg Group. Journalist Jim Tucker has been following Bilderberg for more than 30 years, and attended and staked out over 20 meetings. In Alex Jones's Bilderberg documentary, Endgame, Jim Tucker mentions his original disbelief such a group could exist without his knowledge. He said, I first heard about Bilderberg in 1975, and I said, I don't believe it. It's not possible. Who in the hell is Bilderberg? I spent 20 happy years with Metropolitan newspapers, all the wires clicking in my ear. That could not happen without me knowing about it. The newspapers totally ignore it. Not a word. Total blackout in the United States. Since then, I've never stopped pursuing Bilderberg and the whole international gangster organization led by Rockefellers and Rothschilds as they manipulate the world for their own selfish interests. So why the media blackout? Why the secret meeting places, tinted windows, private police, and roaming guards? Jim Tucker says, The reason they want secrecy is because they're doing evil. Evil is done in darkness. Good works are done in sunshine. Or as C. Gordon Tether said, If the Bilderberg Group is not a conspiracy of some sort, it is conducted in such a way as to give a remarkably good imitation of one. Jim Mars wrote, If the CFR, the Trilateral Commission, and the Bilderbergers are simply innocent, well-intentioned people working to bring about a peaceful and prosperous world, as they claim, then why all the secrecy? Why all the front organizations, some of which are the antithesis of others? Why do they obviously distrust public attention? Which leads to the single most important question. If they do create a centralized one-world government, what's to prevent some tyrant from taking control?